Hi, hello, and welcome to day three of the Rebel Challenge. So today we are going to look at your negative emotions and I want you to stop resisting them. Stop seeing them as bad, as something that you can't handle, that's something that there are things that need to be resisted, pushed down, ignored, denied, or sometimes overindulge. Sometimes we overindulge them in our in our um, fear of them, in our need to not express them, in our need to get rid of them. They they actually take over for longer. They actually impact us more and we end up ruminating and overindulging them and wallowing in them and you know unintentionally obviously but the fact that we don't allow and acknowledge our emotions and use them for feedback and use them for you know just the ups and downs of normal human life then that's what if we can't accept that and we can't live our lives with emotions then uh, we have all these coping strategies that are in place to stop us feeling these negative emotions and actually if we just sat with the negative emotions and experienced them and trusted that they would be there for a short while and then they will go. Life becomes so much more manageable, you can build your resilience and you become so much more self-aware. The amount of um, inner guidance, inner knowledge, self-awareness that you can get from your emotions by truly allowing them to be there, acknowledging them, turning in and noticing how they make you feel. Where do they come from? What's creating this? There could be some really deep underlying issues that you can start exploring and releasing and dealing with and processing. Or it might just be that you're two days before your period starts and you're just really, really angry. And even just knowing that is like, oh, okay, yeah, okay, there's nothing wrong, it's fine. I'm just really, I've just got this, these hormonal emotions coming up you know or it might be that you're really really tired or you're just a bit stressed or there's something actually really upsetting in your life and that and that's fine it's life so this time so today I want you to really be brave this is you know if you're used to ignoring your emotions and denying them and pushing them away this is going to be tricky but I want you to rebel against that urge that you normally have of of you know, pushing the emotions down, resisting them. And I want you to be really strong, make a fierce stand for yourself and go, no, today I'm going to start to feel these emotions, these negative emotions. And I'm going to allow myself to feel a bit uncomfortable, but this is because managing this, being able to do this gives you so much freedom because as ultimately we have all these coping strategies in our life so that we don't feel bad we don't want to feel bad so we have all these perfectionist coping strategies if we learn how to deal with feeling bad all those coping strategies don't need to be there how liberating would that be okay so let's have a look at today's practice first of all step one is notice an emotion so this could be something that's just like you notice your eyes, some prickling in your eyes. You've got some tear, tears coming up instead of kind of going, nope, pull your stuff together. Just go, oh, that's interesting. Curious. What's going on here? Um, it could be like you're suddenly you're in a full blown anger, you know, some anger or you're you're crying and, and you're in the emotion. And then see if you can notice it then. But quite often when you start noticing emotions you won't notice till afterwards so it might be that at the end of the day or a couple of hours later you go oh oh okay yeah I had that emotion and then do the rest of the practice even if it is afterwards I mean obviously it's ideal if you can do it in the situation when the emotion is there in your body but if you can't if you forget which you will because you're not used to doing this then do it afterwards okay so step two is label it acknowledge it go ah oh, I notice I'm feeling some anger here okay hello anger come on in okay what's going on here you know what's what's happening why are you why are you here what what's going on and just kind of just acknowledge that it's there it's okay 
and get curious about it. Okay, step three is, yeah, it's, it's more, get more curious about it. And, you know, where can you feel these sensations? So if you're, if you're, let's say you're upset about something, where do you feel that? Obviously you can feel the tears maybe in your eyes. Maybe you can feel something in your heart, maybe some kind of fear or some, some pain in your, in your, in your stomach or your heart. You might feel some tingling somewhere. You might feel an overwhelming sense of tiredness, you know, or not. It, you could have completely different sensations for your emotions of upset. And then when you're angry, you know, can you feel that tenseness? Can you feel that your, do your fist go like that? Do you feel tight in your, in your jaw? So really get to know the sensations for each emotion that you feel because this is a form of self-awareness and this and self-awareness will give you freedom okay so um step four is choose your response so if you've got time and space a safe space you know if there's no one in the house and you want to go and put some loud music on and and get some anger out and scream or whatever then go and do it but, you know, quite often you'll be looking after kids or you'll be at work and that's inappropriate. So it depends where you are. You could if if it's a really strong emotion, if it's not something that's just you're tired or you're hormonal, in which case it's a fleeting emotion that's come and it goes and it's not got any huge underlying cause, then that's fine. Just let that go. But if you've got something that keeps coming up, if there's some resentment that keeps flashing into anger, you know, some frustrating fr frustration that keeps triggering you in certain situations, then it's really useful to work on that after the event. So do journal on it, go and go and get, you know, shake it out of your body if you need to dance and cry and journal and cry and, you know, just let help it process. Um, and also things like hypnotherapy, EFT, you can do EFT on your on your own, you can get meditations from, you know, hypnotherapy meditations. So try anything like that to help you release something that's got some underlying cause. Okay. And also, this is really important as well. You can choose to take action. Even when you're feeling these negative emotions. So we are human beings who can hold the tension between pain and joy. We can, we can be suffering immense grief from losing a friend, losing a family member, and your children can do something really funny or a colleague can be really kind to you. So you can have this, you can be feeling this grief and then you can have moments of, um, you know, joy and laughter or appreciation and gratitude. Okay, you are able to live your life holding some negative emotion. Okay, so when if if you've got if you um, are holding this emotion and it's and it's just staying around, you might have tried processing it, processing it, or it might not be appropriate to do that at the moment. That's fine. You can leave it there. You, it's fine. I can take action now proactively in alignment with my values. What's my next step here? If I'm living, if I'm acting with integrity, what is my next step? And you can live your life like that and feel negative emotions. Okay, so try this. I know there's a lot today. So if you only do a couple of bits of, of the um, practice, that's fine, because this is massive. This is this is really big stuff. But the, if you can learn to do this, this is going to make a massive difference to your life. So be very gentle with yourself. Celebrate just small successes, a small stretching of that comfort zone, and it will make a big difference. So good luck with it. Please share what you, you know, what happens, what, what worked, what you struggle with. I can help you and coach you in the, in the Facebook group if you're struggling with this, if, if something's stopping you. Okay, so um, yeah, really bring that rebel spirit in today to do this. It's scary, it's hard, but you can do it, okay? Great, I'll see you tomorrow.